Focus. What's up guys, it's your girl Shine Dime and welcome back to another video. So I was 16 when I started seeing one of my exes again. And from the beginning he said obviously he's not ready for a relationship. And I wasn't ready for a relationship, it was a mutual thing. But because we'd gone out before, it was kind of like we already knew what each other was like. We already we were quite vibesy we'd hang out with our friends after school and like we were just really cool even after we broke up even though our relationship was when i was in year nine which I, when I, how old was i like 13. me and him were seeing each other for like over a year he was the person who i shared my intimate moments with for a year it got to us we were talking every single day like it, we might not we might not have talked every single day on the phone but we text each other every single day every single day and he'd see me every single week one day he was like I, like i had moments in that in that situation ship where I would let him know like I'm catching feelings like I feel more I don't want to just be fooling around like I actually like you like you and I would like for this to develop into something more and there was one point when he was like it's mutual like he mutually likes me more than he anticipated da -de da but anyway time went on now and then he was like he feels as though I'm giving him 100 and 20% and he's only given me 50 so it's not fair on me and that we should stop talking obviously we stopped talking for like a month or two and it was really hard for me because when you're so used to talking to someone every single day even though we wasn't in a relationship he was the only person I was talking to I was exclusive literally to him it was kind of hard to adapt to not doing that again so I I kind of saved myself in a way like I didn't want to move on I kind of waited for him hoping that he would change his mind i would literally pray on it every night he started talking to me again two months later came back now and things were a little bit different like we were a little bit more distant but also very close to me so like he was trying to keep me but also keep me at a distance and he obviously knew that i was very into him and if he came back i would be there and i was there and we fooled around some more and then all of a sudden he stopped talking to me again for a little bit and he put up a girl on his um whatsapp picture was quite he was very interactive with this girl on instagram and i and i clocked and i was thinking this is a bit weird not only was she rested on his instagram putting like comments on his instagram pictures but he was doing the same and i was like i thought it was another situation ship like i genuinely thought he was doing something else with someone else in the same aspect as he was doing with me so i decided i was going to save this girl from wasting a year of her life on someone like this especially because he was messaging me around the time wanting to fool around with me but when i realized that he was posting this girl on his instagram on, on, on his whatsapp and messaging this girl like in their comments i stopped talking to him. he was like oh like, like what are you saying i'm like not saying anything because you definitely have a girl like i'm not trying to have sex with you anymore because you have a girl I don't know what this like a girl that's your girl i don't know he was like oh but it's not like that da, da, da. But, so i decided i'm gonna since it's not that deep to you and you can just i don't know this girl is not that deep to you i don't want this girl to be in a situation that i was in holding on to somebody for however long hoping that their mind will change and they're fucking around with other people so I came to her as a woman on Twitter. I followed her on Instagram, I followed her on Twitter. I'm a creep, let me tell you. I don't even know how I found out this girl was linked to, I'm a creep. When I wanna be, when I wanna find out something, I'm gonna find out, yeah? So I did her on Instagram, I did her on Twitter, and I DM'd her on Twitter, and I was letting her know like the situation that me and him was in, and that I didn't want her to be in the type of situation because I realized that they were somewhat, they were interacting on that kind of level. So she called, she was like, uh, kind of talk, like I sent her the screenshot of, of what he said to me in terms of wanting to sleep with me and I said no and I sent it to her and she, she, she wanted my number so I gave her my number and she called me and like, I explained the situation she was like oh I'm his girlfriend and I was like what? She was like yeah I'm, I'm his girlfriend like I've met his mum, I've met his sister um, I'm gonna meet his dad soon. Da, da, da. I was like, hold on a second. 
Did this guy really waste over a year of my life telling me he wasn't ready for a relationship to now having a whole girlfriend and still trying to sleep with me? What? So we was talking, I was telling her like, it. she was saying basically that she, she them, they hadn't slept together yet and she would kind of expect that from him, like wanting to sleep with other girls and I was like, you, you as a woman shouldn't, ex shouldn't accept or even expect your man regardless of how long you guys have been going out to sleep with anyone and it shouldn't be tolerated at all and I was trying to obviously talk to her about that and let her know like obviously that's your decision if that's what if you still want to carry on with him then that's you that's your decision as a woman but that's not something that you should accept at all I genuinely thought that this was a, a situation ship and I didn't want you to be in a situation where someone was fucking with you like how they fucked with me I didn't, didn't know that you guys was in a relationship and I was like to her it, it, the fact is yeah if I had said yes like if I hadn't used if I was one of those girls who like to sleep with people's boyfriends or sleep with people's man genuinely knowing that they have a girlfriend or is with anyone yeah I could have said yes and I would have been having sex with your man and he would have allowed it if I had said yes I as soon as I saw that there was an he was entertaining someone else another girl I didn't back the fuck up he came to me and she got a bit defensive like what are you trying to say you could fuck my man no I'm not trying to say I could fuck your man but I could have fucked your man if I didn't have morals thank god I have morals but anyway so we had a little talk it was calm like she was like we were supposed to go to a mutual friend's birthday around that time but and she was like oh well when we I won't say anything and then when you see me then we will just um pretend like we know each other well we, we know each other now but I like, just pretend that we're friends and we know each other and let's see his reaction and I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's cool. That would be hilarious because he really thought he could play with you and me. She wanted to talk, she was like, I need to talk to him about it. Like, I feel like this is something that me and him need to discuss. And like, obviously we're in a relationship now. So this is something that I need to talk to him about and just see where it goes from then. I was like, perfectly fine. Like, all I just, I just wanted you to know as a girl, what your, what he was doing. And um, that's really it. Like, I, I would appreciate it if you didn't mention my name because i don't want him to come and fight me and she was like oh don't worry like he won't fight you i'm not gonna mention your name no 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 time goes by she went off the phone now we've had like a little whatever so it's, it's cool like no bad energy ever and then ring 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 he's calling me huh i did not answer that call i definitely blocked him and then she calls me and she's like ah oh, i kind of told him that you told me and don't worry about it because he's not gonna do anything if he does anything to you then that just proves that he's just super guilty and yeah i was like this man knows where i live how do i know he's not gonna just rock up to my house and batter me how please 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 she's like no don't worry like i told him not to do anything to you like it's not your fault like he has no reason to put his hand on you or anything like that because at the end of the day he is the one who's in the wrong i was sweating bricks i was sweating I told my grandma, I told everybody, I was just like, bruh. Fast forward a couple months later, how much months later? Not even a year later, still healing from this dumb situation ship that I was in because I was definitely wasting my time and I definitely learned, don't wait for nobody. Someone messaged me on Snapchat, they're like, oh, he's gonna be a dad, like, he's having twins. I have never felt so happy you wasn't ready for a relationship but are you ready for it to be a daddy like are you ready to be a daddy how can you go from not wanting to be a relationship to wanting to be a relationship now and now you're a daddy and twins oh lord but anyway moral of the story is don't waste anybody's time because karma is real they're beautiful don't get me wrong but the whole situation was messed up you can't drag someone along for over a year drop them not even t not, he left me the thing is he left me in the dark he didn't say ah oh, i'm gonna move on or i want to see other people or da, da, da. he just literally just left me to just wonder what was going on you have no morals you have none yeah i could have been in a in a situation with a baby father for years that could have been running for years if I was a dumb, if I was a dummy, if I was a, if I was a real dummy, if I was dick whipped, I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a mistress. <laughs> no way, Jose. Not this shy. Not this shy. Not in this life. Not in that life. Never in life. 
without ever being anyone's mistress. If you've got a girlfriend and you're trying to fuck around with me, best believe I will enter her DMs with evidence. And I don't care how it goes, if it goes left, if it goes right. Nobody, no man should be so cheeky and brave and courageous to sleep with someone else when they have a girlfriend. It doesn't matter how fresh it is. It doesn't matter if you ain't got the pumps yet have manners don't wait for nobody like that's the dumbest thing i've ever done in my life don't wait for nobody i cannot come and kill myself over a relationship that cannot bring me anything but what willing and that was the end of my story time i hope that you enjoyed it make sure that you give it a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video it's your girl shine diamond and i am out Baby, can you focus? Oh, yeah.